What is going on there, guys? It is Rocker XX Carter here, bringing you Wrestle of the Week number nine, and it is actually Randy Orton. If I had, if I could, I would put Randy Orton and Christian in this one because I love the feud that they had when Christian barely won the championship. You know, he lost it like what two nights later to Randy Orton, and I'm saying two nights later because SmackDown is taped. So he really didn't have the belt for like five days or so. He immediately lost it like two days after he won it from Alberto Del Rio. And you know, th that sucks. Was it two nights? Um, I'm not sure. Maybe it was a week. But I remember it was some something like that. Because I remember people were really mad that he lost it. And then Jericho went on to defend uh, Orton saying uh, it could be the start of something bigger. Then Christian turned heel and everything. But, um, yeah. Other than that, um, let's see. I just want to thank you guys for, uh, finally 500 subscribers. Um, it happened like two days ago, but you know, I wasn't really prepared for it. Um, I'm j I just wanted to really thank you guys for, uh, sticking with me. And now the next big goal is 600. And you know, there's been guys um, lately who I've started little talking to, like Miss Fan two five nine eight. Um, let's see, I know Mufta. He he's been a nice guy to me. Um, you know, when I got to U when I got YouTube partnered, he helped he helped me out a bit with uh, getting to know YouTube partnerships. Uh, the special features about it and you know he, he's helped me out um he uh he kind of told me I could get partnered with TGN but uh TGN never got in contact with me and you know there's some of those subscribers that I know that have stuck into my uh content and I want to thank them specifically and those people who have also helped me and you know also the feedback people have given me and all that because I'm always striving to get better guys um uh, I don't know if it seems like it but I'm always uh, striving to go to the next goal to the next milestone um sooner or later I'm finally gonna get a blue snowball mic so I don't have to stick to my computer mic which is a uh, really bad mic but you gotta work with what you have then next after that is a new capture card that captures in HD. Um, I remember uh, Mufta told Miss Fan 2598 about another capture card that was better than an HD PVR, which I could do with uh, the HDMI cables. I might get that. I don't know if my computer can run that, but my computer uh, my computer can run stuff, so um, hopefully it can run that. That way I could deliver HD content to you guys because um you guys deserve HD content um you know it's just that it's hard trying to find a job honestly if I found a job the first thing I would do would be the HD PBR or the any other greater capture card and then the blue snowball mic because I'm striving to get better but you know money is an issue right now in my life because I don't have a job um. Yeah, it's just I don't have a job and it's tough finding a job at the moment. But I promise you guys, if I ever do get a job, the first thing I'm going to do is buy a better capture card. And then after that, hopefully a better mic. And you know, it's going to be a, it's gonna be a next big step towards my YouTube goals and everything. Because right now my goal is to set up to a thousand subscribers. Because after a thousand, I, I'm going to feel accomplished. And you know, after that, my next goal is 2,000. After that, 40,000. Um, I really don't know if I'll freaking be able to accomplish that. But, um, there. I just want to thank you guys. And I want you guys to stick with me for the next goal. Five, 500, half 500, 600 subscribers. But in other news, um, I also want to share some information with you guys about the current state of the WWE. We know WWE banned the word suck it from WWE 13, but now Vince McMahon bans small city names on TV. Vince McMahon's latest direction is not to mention the names of cities that he believes are not big leagues, 
Basically, if Vince doesn't feel that the city is big enough, he doesn't want there to be any mention of it on TV. On Monday Night Raw, he gave the word not to mention Fort Wayne, Indiana on the air. He also made a small call for the June 5th SmackDown in Columbia, South Carolina. So, apparently they can't mention names that he doesn't feel are big enough. So, when The Rock comes back to the WWE, let's say it's a small town, is he going to say, the, finally The Rock has come back to WWE? Or is he going to say the name? Who knows? But I wanted to share that bit of information to you because that is really one of the most stupidest things to pan. Honestly, does he not know how big the crowd cheers when they mention their name? Oh my god, it's just, just so, so stupid, but he's in control, he's in control. But, also want to share with you guys some other news, um, apparently Bill Goldberg ha um, contacted Brock Lesnar about doing an angle with him, but right now Lesnar only has dates to face Triple H at uh, SummerSlam and to face him, someone at WrestleMania. So, just wanted to share that little news with you guys, but what do you guys think? And once again, thank you guys for 500 subscribers. Let's go on to the next goal, 600 subscribers. Who knows how long that will take, but I just want to thank you guys for sticking with me. And stick with me to my next, uh, my next goal. Hope you guys have a great day. I might not upload again today, um, but if I do, um, yeah, stick it. Stick with me. Why did I say stick it? Rocker, it's out, guys.